Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Apex Cell handheld digital microscope. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So if we look at the side here, it says it has zoom, one micron objects can be seen, full multi-layer coated lens, adjustable viewing angle, adjustable lighting, color, temperature, and brightness. On the back here, we have some specs. So you can read through those. This has a 700 milliamp hour battery and battery life is about 2.5 hours. So let's get this open. So here we have the microscope. Comes with a cleaning cloth, storage bag with a manual, and we have a USB type C charging cable. The cable's around 40 inches. So to charge this, we'll open the port on the side. We can see the charge cable here. I'll plug into it and I'll plug into the charger. So we're currently charging at about 0.43 amps. So that can vary depending on the state of the charge of the microscope. So let's take a look at the manual here. So it has an introduction, talks about the different parts it comes with. Here are the details. We have the display, the M button, the plus minus button, the power button. There's a focus ring, objective, transparent plastic cover, six LED ring lights, and we have output ports. So this has a TF or micro SD card slot, so you can put a micro SD card in it. You can also connect this to a computer using the USB cable. So here are instructions. Aim the microscope at the object. You can adjust the inclination of the display. Please gently rotate the focus ring of the microscope and carefully observe the screen changes. If it is clear, you can take pictures or video. So it has photo mode, video mode, or playback mode. So you'll short press the plus and minus to zoom in and out and press the power button to take pictures. And then you hold down the plus or minus to adjust the brightness. Long press the M to go to the settings menu. Then we have the playback mode instructions. And we have the different settings here. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So I'll pull this film off the screen, turn off my overhead light here, and we can tilt this here to different angles. I'll see if I can get one that works well for the camera. Let's try that. So I'll hold down the power button to turn it on. So we see the welcome screen. So it asked us to install an SD card. I have one right here, so I'll insert it. I'll just pull the power out. And it looks like we have a decent amount of power in here. So the micro SD card slot is near the charge port. So I'll put that in, I'll put the bottom facing towards the charge port and I'll press that in with my thumbnail until it clicks. Then to eject it, I would press it again until it pops out. So now we have that card installed. So if I rotate this here, we can focus in on the surface. This is just my bench. Let's go into the settings real quick. So I'll hold down M. So here we have the photo settings. If we press the M again, we'll have the main settings. If we press it again, it will exit. So I'll hold this down. So I can press the plus minus to go up and down. So I'll go down here. We have the different settings here. So we could format the SD card if we needed to. Okay, now on this screen, if we press M, it will send you to the different modes. So now we're in the video mode, and here's the playback mode, and we were in the photo mode. So if I wanted to take a photo of this, I could press the power button once. We took a photo. I'll go here, and we can see that photo. So that's very easy to use. Now we can zoom in and out with the plus minus. So this is a digital zoom. And then we can adjust the brightness of the light by holding it down. So that turned it off, that turned it on. So let's get some objects. I'll start out with a dollar bill. So I'll put it on here. So I can adjust this and I can move it around so we can see the different parts. We can also do video. So let me start recording a video. So here we can see the words on here. So what you were just watching was the video I pulled from this. So let's try that zoom in there. We can zoom in a little bit if we want. So that's a dollar bill. So you might look at that just to see what's on the dollar. It might be kind of a fun thing to do. There are also actually uses for this, like say if you have trouble seeing. So here I have a power adapter. It's kind of hard to read this small type on here. So here I can use the microscope to read it.
Another use for this might be looking at a circuit board. So we'll do that. So here we can see a resistor. If we were trying to diagnose a problem, we might look at the solder joints on here and see if there are any that are broken. Now you'll want to use that focus ring to focus in. So I'm going to try and connect this to a computer now. So I plugged it into a computer and it gives me three options. One is memory, then we have PC camera and charge only. So I want to go to PC camera. So this will turn it into a webcam. So now we have my computer over here. I'm using a Mac, but you could do a similar thing with PC. I'll open QuickTime. On a PC, you could open the camera app and I'll go to file and then new movie recording. And then USB camera. And now I'm looking at that money under the microscope. So if you're a teacher using this, you could connect this up to a computer and display it on a projector. So let's take a quick look at the bottom here. So these are those LED lights and we have the lens there and this will come off, but you'll probably want to leave this on because that will set the focal distance. It's kind of hard to see with the lights on, but when I turn this, you can see the lens move up and down. But it's super easy to hold, and I like that it's balanced where it will sit on a table. Let's see if I have this all the way forward. So it's slightly more stable with this facing up. So you have to use your best judgment if that's going to be secure enough for you. If you have little kids that are gonna bump it, then you'll want to hold it or get a little mount for it or something. But that's the Apex L digital handheld microscope. I have a couple different digital microscopes, but this is definitely the most portable. Being that you have the microscope, the power, and the screen all in one unit makes it super easy to carry around. So you could put this in your bag. You could put this in your backpack when you're hiking. You come across an insect or a leaf or something. You can pull this out. You can look at it. You can take a picture and then go on your way. There are certain recreational areas where it's actually illegal to take things with you. So if you want to look at something up close to the microscope, something like this would be your only option. Of course, this could also work well on a job site where you need to see things up close if you want to inspect something for cracks or maybe look for a model number or like I was saying, you know, small components inspect it or, you know, maybe read the numbers on a chip or something. This could really come in handy. So I shared a video earlier from this. I'll take some pictures with this and I'll insert those into the video now. Okay, so those are just a few samples. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.